your church. I hope you're having a good week and a good morning. Uh, okay, anyway. So today we're going to be playing a game that's called Boggle. The rules are using the letters on the board. You have to find as many words as you can, but the letters have to connect either horizontally, vertically or diagonally. So we have one minute and you can play along with us. So are we ready? Yes. yes. Are you absolutely sure? Yes. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, start.
So last week, we began looking at the rulers of Israel and how the Israelites asked the prophet Samuel for a king. This week, we're going to look at the first king of Israel, King Saul. He had a good and humble start, chosen by God to rule over Israel, but his heart soon rebelled against God. So let's look at this in 1 Samuel verses 9, chapter 9, verses 2 to 3. And he had a son whose name was Saul, a handsome young man. There was not a man among the people of Israel more handsome than he. For his shoulders upwards, he was taller than any of the people. Now the donkeys of Kish, Saul's father, were lost. So Kish said to Saul, his son, take one of the young men with you and arise and go and look for the donkeys. What are some of the things that we find out about Saul? Well, we find out that he was handsome and tall, but also obedient to his father. Let's read on to find out some more. When they came to the land of Zaph, Saul said to his servant, who was with him, Come, let us go back, lest my father cease to care about the donkeys and become anxious about us. But he said to him, Behold, there is a man of God in this city, and he is a man who is held in honour, and that he says, come, and, and all that he says comes true. So now let us go there. Perhaps he can tell us the way we should go. Saul listens to his servant, who knows Samuel is a man of God, and they go in search of him. Let's continue reading chapter, verses 15 to 17. Now that day before Saul came, the Lord had revealed to Samuel, Tomorrow, about this time, I will send you, send to you a man from the land of Benjamin, and you shall anoint him to be prince over my people Israel. He shall save my people from the hand of the Philistines, for I have sinned my people because of their cry, because their cry has come to me. When Samuel saw Saul, the Lord told him, Here is the man whom I spoke to you. He is it who shall restore my, restrain my people. God has chosen Saul to be king, though Saul had no idea of that until he met with Samuel. He was anointed with oil by Samuel in chapter 10 to make the decision known to the people. Saul had humble beginnings chosen by God to, the, to be king. Next week, we're going to look at some of the things that Saul would ask as king and where things started to go wrong. Okay guys, I hope you've had um, fun at junior church this week. So for craft, we're gonna be making a very interesting substance called oobleck or Newtonian fluid. And basically what that means is when you're not touching it, that it's completely liquid, but as soon as you move it, it becomes a solid. So we're gonna make that today. So in your little bag, you should find some corn flour and what you're going to do is put that in a bowl that you don't care about or your parents don't care about. Make sure you're not doing it in a nice dinner bowl. Um, so what you're going to do first is add your corn flour. Put your corn flour in your bowl. You are going to take a very, very small amount of water. And then you're going to mix it together. So we're going to add the water in small parts to make sure that we don't add too much. So once you've mixed all your liquid up with it, you're going to put a little more water in and mix it up again. Okay, and there we go. There is our very easy Newtonian fluid or oobleck. And to get rid of it, all you're going to do is add more water until it becomes completely a liquid and pour it down the sink. So there we go. We have our oobleck. <laughs> 